What is presence? If you've collected all the presence datacrons, how much stronger will your companion be in combat? In this video, we will look at the combat effectiveness of companions with different amounts of presence. Time to deconstruct the difference the presence datacrons make to companion combat. In this video, we're going to cover what the present stat is, comparing our two test subjects, a fight versus NPCs, a fight versus another companion, and then draw some conclusions on what we figured out. So what is presence? Presence is a stat you gain that influences your companion effectiveness. It can influence their damage, their healing, and their health, as well as their crew skill time and their crew skill critical. There are a number of ways to gain presence. You can get presence by leveling up the influence of your companions, you can get presence by collecting datacrons, and you do get a presence bonus by creating a level 50 human character. In the 4.0 patch, the presence bonus went down. They changed it from a flat rate to a percentage-based influence. So now our low-level companions don't have an insane amount of damage. So I wondered, how much difference is there between a companion with all the datacrons and a companion with none of the datacrons, and how much does this presence bonus affect their combat effectiveness? As we normally do in our analysis videos, we're going to start out by looking at the raw numbers. On the screen, you're going to see the character sheets of both the no datacrons and the all datacrons characters, as well as the flyout boxes that show you the numbers that have changed based off of the present stat. Everything else on these characters is the same. So you will notice that a lot of these stats change. The damage, the bonus damage, the tech bonus damage, the tech bonus healing, and the health. But really what's happening behind the scenes, if you look at the flyout boxes, is there is a stat called skills and buffs. That substat is what presence actually influences. So let's take all of this and compile it down into an easier to view sheet. Here, you're gonna see a breakdown of the raw stat bonuses that apply to the character. What we're looking at is a presence stat difference of 548, a bonus damage difference of 16.6, .6, a tech bonus damage difference of 21, a tech bonus healing difference of 14.9, and a health difference of 255. If you're interested in how these start to stack up over time, you can see this live stream video where we went from levels 1 to 10 with a companion and tracked the differences in these stats on every level. So how do these stat bonuses affect actual combat? Let's set up a test. We're going to have our companion fight a level 8 champion one-on-one. -on, -one. on the left, we see our no datacrons commando. On the right, our all datacrons commando. Let's see how they do. Okay, that fight was pretty close. What we tended to find in this is our champion would die 3 to 4 seconds faster in combat when the all datacrons commando was fighting versus the no datacrons commando. But this varied from fight to fight. As a second test, let's put our companion up against a group of NPCs. We'll look at this the same way. On the left are no datacrons commando, on the right are all datacrons commando. In this fight, you can see the time to kill all three of the NPCs was nearly identical. So what does this mean? It means that both companions are actually relatively effective, and it will come down to criticals and randomness of the attacks to see how fast things die. Okay, time for a different type of test. Since our companions are actually relatively equal when they fight against NPCs, what happens if they fight against each other? A good way to compare their effectiveness will be to fight them one-on-one, -on -one, companion versus companion, in a duel. We ran five duels, and although the results were slightly different between duel to duel, our All Datacrons Companion won every single time. The amount of health left with the All Datacrons Companion in Trial 1 was 15%, Trial 2 was 28%, Trial 3 was 25%, Trial 4 was 0%, and Trial 5 was 35%. So all in all, the All Datacrons Companion did do significantly more damage than the No Datacrons Companion. So what was the difference between the run with the 0% health left and 35% health left? Going through the combat logs and looking at the actual combat, what happened in this one is the No Datacrons Companion actually had two really big critical hits that evened out the combat damage. Without these two big critical hits, he would have lost by a larger percentage, but those actually did make a difference. 
So in these cases, on average, your all data crowns companion is going to do more damage, more healing, and be more effective. Although there can be cases where a lucky hit or some randomness will impact the results. So we just saw the close call duel. Now we're actually going to look at the big win duel and kind of talk about some of the conclusions here. So does presence matter? It does give your companion an edge at low levels. It would impact a close fight, but it's probably not going to make or break your player's success. As we saw in the NPC battles, our companion was able to handle both the champion and the spawn of three NPCs all by himself without our interference, and this was true whether they had the presence bonuses or not. A bigger difference is your companion's influence level. While this is an indirect presence bonus because your companion does gain presence every time his influence goes up, it is probably a bigger determining factor than the datacrons. If you're the type of player where your fights are close and you are struggling, these presence bonuses will help you out quite a bit. If you're not that kind of player, then it probably isn't going to make a lot of difference. Thank you for watching this deconstruction gaming video. If you found this information useful, please take the time to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Your support is critical in helping the channel grow. You can also find links in the description to support the channel and follow us on social media. When you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to be alerted when we upload new videos.